It is a bitter cold. The roughest night I had camping in a long time. Well, hi diggity dog guys. How's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in. We got the pack. That is jacked. Um, we're coming back out to the same urban location we always been at. For two reasons. Last camp out, I forgot my freaking, I couldn't get my uh, tent stakes out. And reason number two, I think I might have found us a new spot to go. So we might not have to come back here. I don't know. We'll see. I figured we'd give it one old last hoot nanny. I mean, I'm sure we'll come back out here. But for the time being, I think we found us somewhere else to go. I don't know if you can tell. Well, I hope you can tell. I hope your eye eyeballs work. We got some snow. And uh, we got like four or five inches or something. And we've had this dry spell for the past two days. That's been knocking it out. I wasn't feeling so hot. And uh, I missed out on getting out filming through it. So that kind of sucks. My bad. I'm out of shape. I should be pounding Twinkies right now instead of walking through the forest, I guess. Anyway. Onward. Here's where we were when we were last posted up. Oh yeah. I think that one was already broke anyway, but oh yeah, give me that. Cool beans. And yes, just for those who are tuning in for the first time, maybe second time or didn't catch the last hundred videos. This is an urban location. Just so you know. All right, we got everything sitting over here in a nice little dry spot. That's where we camped out last time. What I want to do is make our way down yonder because tonight, like right now, it's pretty freaking warm. It's like 45. Like crazy heat wave came through and just melted everything super fast I even brought the sled uh, along because I thought I was gonna have enough snow back here to pull um, but getting down the train tracks it being urban wasn't uh, the greatest idea I would have done more harm than good to my sled so um, decided to play pack mule and haul in here but back in here it's a lot thicker can't really see the cars as much. And with the weather turning to crap, it's supposed to be single digits uh, overnight. And uh, ah, that's what I get for coming regular blue jeans. Little pokey plants just right through these holy things. Let's go scout us a spot over here. See if we can find a nice, good, clear, flat one. I mean, I was kind of thinking, if you tuned in last time, where I found the deer uh, hoof. Sorry, this camera's getting yanked all over the ground. There are the trees and you guys probably got Parkinson's or something. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just jokes, just funny. All right, my mind's all over the place. Sorry, focus on one thing, buddy. Here we are. I think this would be I have camped out here before. Ooh, coyote. There's coyote. Cause remember the hoof was right in here. Oh, it's right there. Open your eyes. Thought this would be flat enough, but I don't really like it. And you got crap everywhere. I mean, over here ain't so shabby. Ain't too shabby. 
Interesting, this seems to be the highway for the coyotes. That's a plus. I don't know, in the abundance of firewood. I was just thinking because, let me get back to what I originally first started saying. The weather was gonna change overnight, get really cold and windy, and this was gonna block it, was the game plan. <laughs> but, I don't know. I'm gonna change my mind now. All because of the abundance of firewood. I only got two hours of uh, sunlight left. I don't want to walk extra 40 feet. Come on, lazy legs. There ain't really much that way. I don't know. Come on, man. The creek's still frozen. It'd be kind of cool to camp down there. But it's so, uh, just folded grass over logs and stuff and down there would be so hard to find a nice flat spot. And plus, urban all around us. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I don't know. Did we just bite the bullet and set up where we already had set up? Hmm. I don't know. Well, I guess over here where these junipers block all the sun pretty much, it's gonna be in the same pickle as I was last time, beating the stakes in. Probably won't be able to get them out come morning anyway. Yes, I can craft some out of wood, do that whole fancy shebang bang, but there's no need for it if we got stakes. You know, I don't know. And it's gonna be colder in the shade. Kind of want to be able to. So I know tomorrow we're going back to our spot. <laughs> we're going back. Mission abort. We're going back to our regular spot. Just because I was supposed to be super cold in the morning, we did get a little bit of sun there last time. So it's gonna make it that much more enjoyable even though it's going to be minus three but uh, great walk and talk huh <laughs> it's kind of catch 22 so if there's anybody over there you can see it wide open now like directly look over here so you're going to see me milling around but this way you got more juniper to block you from traffic Hit and miss, but hopefully soon we ain't got to worry about all that shenanigans. Got a little place in mind. We might be able to build, even be able to build a fort or something. No, I ain't telling everybody or anything this time where it's at. So maybe we can keep this one a little longer. Hey, we got a train coming down the tracks. So I guess the plus side. Here we have some wood already cut, and uh, there's not as much snow to clear over here. And we'll be able to use utilize the sun much longer too, because over there there's like no shade. It's gonna be colder, snow's thicker, but you do get the protection over there of the trees. Well, we'll survive, I suppose. We got deer walking right up to the point. Look at this, the last camp. You can see right where the deer walked up, planted its hoofs and bent down and like sniffed the lumber. Sniffed my wood. Made it smell good. I'm just kidding, these are jokes. <laughs> Sorry, that was not a PG. That wasn't PG. Or was it? Lincoln Logs. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Lincoln Log wood cabins. It's the cotton 
wood tree bark shovel. 3,000, available at Walmart. Brakes, just like a product from Walmart. Tell you what, for a cheap bag, these T-Town bags are absolutely perfect. They do wonders. I know, repetitive, same thing, but, hey, we're doing it, why not? Got a different dinner idea that we haven't done yet, so that's cool. Maybe, maybe it's not cool, I don't know, find out, maybe we burn it, whatever. Just a few tapperoonies. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do, actually what I'm going to do, is run over there, yank down some juniper boughs, and line this floor. Because once that stove heats up in here, this is all gonna become one soupy, sloppy, nasty mess. So it's gonna help give us a little bit of traction and keep us off the ground, one more extra layer off the floor. But that stuff does take off super easy if you get it too close to the fire so if you don't want this to turn into a little firework stand careful yeah, don't mind the dog once again it's the urban puppy palace what i'm gonna do i'm trying to well i'm gonna take them off this big tree because they're long enough to reach most of the way on the floor in there and i won't have to completely like murder some a bunch of little ones Take just a few off of this. We'll be good to go. Thanks for tuning in to this old house. Now that you got your pine selected, lumber, whatever you're going to use, go ahead and start laying your new floor. And you got to cut that guy. You ain't got to cut her. Get on in there. may not look the prettiest but lumpy and clumpy beats frozen come breakfast that's for sure more layers and we're up off the ground the sticks are gonna keep us off the ground so I'm gonna throw my tarp over the back and uh, my reflectix and yeah sleeping bag and all that good stuff so I think we should be all right a little bit warmer ooh and the old reflector there we got um, I finally brought the dang thing. I've never brought it hot tank camping. So we're going to try that out and we'll be able to focus the heat right at us. None of it's going to disperse all the way around us. Straight microwave oven in here, hopefully. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? 
and they're starting to bend down. That's only like the fourth burn in this. So I think we're gonna be needing to do freaking little great soon. Cool. Yay. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll get one more night out of it for now. We'll see what happens. We'll make something. We'll wing ding chicken wing and we'll be alright. There's this heat shield. We can get that wrap around there. <clears throat> I wonder if it's gonna get so hot that hopefully it doesn't burn the tent. Any more than that last little spark there. Just saw a cop drive by. I don't know if he kind of looked over here or not. We'll find out if we get the boot or not. Oh, they spotted me in here. And there they go. The human saw table. Pretty good if you could do it without getting in your knee. punching the piece of wood after you're done. In no little simple way. Put it between two trees like so. Get the distance you want, enough for your hand ring. Pull it. And that tree will fight it back. And it'll sit nice and still. A little bit easier than breaking your back. Good old cotton candy sunset. Meow nums. We got most of our firewood gathered up for now. We may have to make another uh, attempt at it. But right now I'm gonna try to feather wood or feather some fat wood here. Just a little bit. I guess we're not gonna go old Vic style. Let's just try and hit this thing with a ferro rod. Let's see what we can make happen. Okay, just like I said, not to do it around juniper or anything like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it around the juniper, and we'll see what happens. Oh, there we go. No, I'm not gonna double it up. I'm just sticking it straight in there. We'll get it over with. Short and sweet. Get that thing all dialed in. Get the crap out of the door so we can shut it. And let that thing just start going. Would be nice to have a sealed top because it kind of, as you can see, smokes out of there a little bit. But we shall see. 
Well, we're off to a great start. I mean, we already had that hole. We just got another one, even bigger, right there. Uh, I think it's because, let me dole this thing down. That's a plus, not cool. I doled it down and that's gonna help. And it might cause these dang things. Ugh. Yeah, I got so much crap stuck to it. What the heck? Need to keep an eye on that because I smelt it. I turned around and I smelt it. I smelt it burning. Son of a biscuit. And that's right over us, too. Cool, great, fancy. Always something. Oh, look at that. Another one. Cool. Joys of hot tenting. Always such a blessing. We should have a hefty little supply to get us through the night. The wind is picking up. Hear the trees creaking. I just hope it doesn't get super crazy and try to flip the stove over. It should be in for an interesting night. So we'll see what happens. Let the coals get all rumbly gumbly, do what they do, and then we'll Try to wing ding or little dinner idea. Never done it, so I guess we'll see. I don't know exactly how this is gonna work, but we're gonna try to make like a ham and cheesy potato casserole, kinda. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we shall see. We're gonna take the pie tin and just flip it up onto the stove. We don't want just a little. Oh, this thing is super flimsy, so I don't know how well this is gonna work. Um, dehydrated spuds. I got some garlic, uh, cloves, bacon's for breakfast, cheese packet. Where's my ham? Oh yeah, we got some onion. Where is my ham? Where's the ham? I didn't forget the ham. There ain't no way I forgot the ham. Oh yeah. Some ham. So, we'll see what we can do. Set that up there. We'll turn this other little pie tin on top of it and try to like put it somewhat together. Set it on top, kind of like try to bake it. Maybe, I don't know. Something new, something to do. Whatever. We'll see what happens. Let's get everything all chopped up and whisked together. Open this one wide open. See if I can even get them to stick together. I doubt it. But we gotta try. Never gonna learn if we don't try. Good. I'm not gonna put all of them. I don't even know why I brought all of them, but I did. Never know. Add a little bit. We'll get everything going. And then garlic clove. Ah! If I could pop it. Didn't pop it, but whatever. The garlic in there. whole heap of onion. I mean a whole heap. <laughs> we brought it, we got it, we're gonna eat it. That scared me. I honestly thought it was a growl. <laughs> I was like, no! Werewolf! Get our meats up in there. I have a feeling that's gonna taste mighty fine. As long as it doesn't all stick to the bottom of the pan. Throw it all up in there and then get it all whisked up. 
We'll see how that plays out. We'll see if we can do it without poking a hole in this cheap tin. Instantly turned into cheese. <laughs> and we'll save a little bit of the packet towards the end there. Just in case we got to thicken that up. It doesn't look all too shabby. Definitely gonna need more water. But hey, couple bucks, man. Couple bucks feed you. I like that idea. Yeah, that ain't looking at it all too shabby right there, man. I'm gonna tell you who what. More water, though. Butter. Can't forget the butter. Hopefully that'll help it not stick. We shall see. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to double up the panage up there. That way I can pull it off easier. I think this is going to work, but you have to take the second one and bend over the whole top inward. Like so. So that way the next one, that flap will fold over that inner flap. And we shall see where the dinner train takes us. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Maybe start on the end. Get out of here, werewolf. This is going to be a close, tricky one. Get her all nice and sealed up. Oh, I think we're going to do it. Uh-oh. Maybe. Popping it off and stirring it up and all that good stuff is going to suck, though. But, better than just a plain old hot dog or something. And we're trying something new. It's all about the learning experience, having fun, and burning your tent. Alright, that's the goofy concoction I got going on right now. <laughs> we shall see how this plays out. Here it goes, nothing. Oh, it even fits perfectly. Well, cheers. Shall we indulge in a beverage? Oh. Say this on everything. Cheers, cheers, cheers. This is to this, this is to that. Whatever, buddy, I think you got a problem. It's all fun and games. Until somebody gets jaundiced and dies. <laughs> These are jokes. All happy health and wealth and all that good stuff. Cheers, though. To um, hopefully the next place works out. I'm not going to film in like I did coming into this area to the next place. And hopefully the next place we don't have much city noise. So that's a plus. I'm really stoked about going out and adventuring this spot. And hopefully finding uh, a nice spot, to, uh, a little lock in, a little nice shelter. So, cheers to that and uh, longevity of the fort. <sighs> Tell you what, this reflector's doing its freaking job. Man, I haven't had a canned beer in a while. It's different, guys. Yeah. Uh. Well, actually, beside the Great White. I haven't had a canned Budweiser in a while. But, yeah. We're doing it. Wind's picking up here and there. Food's cooking. This, this meal's going to take a minute. But, hopefully it turns out. That'd be kind of cool. Something new.
whatever. Yeah, for breakfast, I'm going to do like this uh, little like breakfast bagel sandwich, I guess. Never done that before either. So, concoction, wing ding, mess of num nums. Num num. <sighs> to the moon. Oh, look at that swamp we got going on over here. Oh, yeah, I thought them juniper boughs. Splish splash, taking a bath. Yeah, I got a mess. I got a mess going on over here. It's all right, we'll burn it later. Here comes the wind. It's whipping. Trees crackling out there, kind of. <laughs> It's not even that much of a breeze yet, but we shall see. See the moon out there peeking behind the stove? Cool beans. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just stocked the fire and got a little bit of smoke in here and had to open the door. Getting breezy. Hopefully, it don't get smashed. Wee hoo! Wish you guys could smell this dang thing. You smell that garlic so good. Wind howling. I guess they're only supposed to get 20 mile an hour winds, but still not too shabby. Just living. Out here, park around and a trash bag having fun. Steamy toes. Let's see what we're working with. It smells mighty fine. Pull this thing off, take a peek. Ooh, she's nice and toasty, I tell you who what. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Get some of that. Yeah. Saber digits. Oof. Oof. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ooh, you can sit on the boot. Hang out right there, baby. Didn't pay attention. I was dang near burning my boot. Those are nice and soft. I bet you that's done right there. Holy moly. Yeah. I think we're good to go. I can't see nothing because all the steam, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That looks so friggin' good. Holy crap. Oh man. Holy crap. The heart wasn't already clogged. It's about to be. Come on, get out of there. Holy crap, that wind. Uh oh, this battery's about to die too. Priorities first, battery, then shelter. We'll be alright. Holy crap. Added some more cheese to the top of that bad boy. Oh, I'm trying not to dump it. Or my fork. Man. Woo! Hot diggity dog. Mmm. Holy crap, that is good. That is uh, Hungry Jack um, scallop potatoes. Yeah, that's what I use that in a seasoning. Little ham, little three cloves of, or three, what do you call that? Chunks of garlic and some onion. Man. Woo, hot. Woo. Pardon me. 
That's freaking awesome. That's a plus. We're doing that one again for sure. That's awesome. Heck yeah. She's a wee bit toasty. Oof. I'm gonna take dinner to Pound Town. Listen to the wind howl. Starting to pick up, getting crazier gusts. But we should be alright. Took about like an hour and 20 minutes to cook that the way it did. And it didn't even burn to the bottom. It was starting to, so we got it just in time. But super cheesy, super easy. Kind of how I was in my teen years. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ah, these are jokes. These are all just jokes. Beautiful. That could be like that. It's kind of a softer cottonwood. Come on, girly. Come on now. There we go. Beautiful. All right, ready, set, go. Let's see if we can do this without a bunch of smoke coming out. Because every time, we usually kind of get nailed with some smoke here. Let's throw one. Oh, not too shabby. Just a little bit. <laughs> Creepy squeaky trees. Everyone's favorite. Got a couple logs drying. And it's helping when that wind picks up. Reassure me that it's not gonna fly over, hopefully. That's the goal anyway. And in here doesn't really do it justice to tell you what. It's freaking windy. Once we keep the fire going, we'll be alright. But my gosh. It's howling. Holy snakies. Thought it was dying down. No, it was just gaining speed. <clears throat> well, I think we have enough wood to get us through the night somewhat. Got this thing dialed in. I haven't pulled my bag out yet because it's so muddy. And if I do have to grab more lumber, I don't want to have to keep taking my boots on and off and worry about getting my bag muddy. But I should have brought the reflector a long time ago because it's doing a great job. I'm really thankful for it. <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna get up early, try to catch the sunset. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get up early and catch the sunset. <laughs> try to catch the sunrise, get breakfast uh, whipped up, because I do gotta work tomorrow, so. But we got some breakfast, and then we'll beat feet. Get the old sleeping bag dialed in. <laughs> Earlier when I was filming the moon, I couldn't tell on this, but um, like four blocks away, there's a gas station. This has nothing to do with anything, but I thought I heard gunshots. And I was checking the local weather, and that cat popped up on a local story. Sure, <laughs> somebody <laughs> somebody shot it. Good thing nobody. I don't mean to laugh, but uh, I guess there was a shooting just right down the street. I'm not surprised. Just glad we didn't catch a stray bullet or everybody else's grand. <laughs> Crazy. You never know what's going to happen. Life's so short, man. 
Now uh, you're having good old cheesy casserole. You get blaster old. <laughs> Something. Who knows? I'm trying to stuff my head in the bag every time. I'll probably end up still doing it anyway. But we'll get all ninja like. Button up. And breathe into this instead of into the bag. If anything. So, hopefully, our feet don't get soaked. We get that dialed in. And we figure it all out. Well, that's the game plan. It's getting late. I'll get ready to jump in a second here in a second. And just see what happens through the night. If anything happens, turn the camera back on. Get you guys all the goody info. Got the... Uh, uh, if I can get that going. Got the reflector pointed right at us. Got a little bit of wood on here. Wind's still rumbling. Good night, tumbling. Uh, I don't know if I can't see if that's straight or not, but that's the game plan. Dive into the sack. Let this fluff up a little bit. Then I'm going to jump in there. Uh, but. That being said, good night guys. We shall see how we sleep. Night! Well, I had to dry out the dirty dogs with the old sockies. Brought a spare pair to sleep in. Gonna be real nice and sleepy like. <laughs> night guys! middle of the night these winds are howling yeah Trying to get some shut eye, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Not really. Well, good morning, guys. That's by far. Fire's almost out. It keeps. There's something up with that damper. Like, once it gets hot, it, uh, like turns and you don't know where it is. It's not the same as uh, what it was last night. Super windy. It is freaking cold. Um, that was by far seemed like every hour of a stocking just to stay warm in here I don't know why it was I don't know it was a rough night but the reason why I wanted to get up at 6.30 was to catch the sunset but it is freaking cloudy cold so we're just gonna get this fire rolling again get it ready for some breakfast and get warm I'm cold I mean I'm okay in the bag but I want to be warm Alright, get her going again. We got a little bit going back there. Starting to go, but. Oof. It's chilly. It's fine. It's fire. You can kind of hear it popping. Oh, man. Should we also ready to get breakfast? Knocked out, and this makes me excited to go to work because there might be warmth there. <laughs> Holy moly! That was a 
the roughest night I had camping in a long time. Windier than heck, hard to stay warm. Oh man. I kept my head out of the bag the whole time. And it's still wet. It's still got damp. I wonder if it's because it's just like mummy style and it just can't escape. Any heat that builds up down there just can't escape. I guess. Oh, man. Woo! Alright, here we go. Ready to rumble. Oh, put my coat on. It's still freaking windy as heck. I see it'd be nice to be able to stand up and run in place, you know. Barely got room to smack my hands in here. But, all right, enough whining. Let's start dining. Stay warm and get ready to go bye bye. Oh, yeah. Nice and hot, like I can't get the damper all dialed in right now. Look at this freaking wind. Oh, on. Give me a break. Woo. The chili. Breaking on. Kind of still sitting halfway in my bag. Sorry, you guys are bouncing around because you're on the bed a little bit. Yeah, we're going for gold. Oh, whoa. I'll knock the camera over. Freaking wind. Oh. It's that cold the stove ain't even doing its job. Really anymore. It's just... With it. The bottom's not being sealed, even touch the ground. The wind's just whipping through underneath here now. It is a bitter cold. Come on, bacon, bagel, whatever we're making. Woo wee. Oh, come on. Get everything packed up. Ready to rumble, so that way we just gotta jump out of here, break the stove down, burn our fingers a couple times. Uh, well, hopefully, we'll see how long this burn lasts. So, I might have to throw more fire in it, it just seems to throw more fire in it, more wood in it. Oh man, Woo. yeah, see if we can get our steaks out again. You kidding me? Well, I brought two eggs for a reason, and I accidentally broke one in there. That's a plus. One good egg. I mean, I'm sure the other one's still good, but whatever. Put some butter in there on top of the bacon grease, maybe. <laughs> She's frozen. Freaking breeze, man, has not died down. Super freaking relentless. Little eggshell in there. I see you. Get over here. Oh yeah. Come on. Can we do it? Oh yeah. A bit longer. One step closer. Here that went. Holy crap. The camera's kind of next to the tent, so hopefully it doesn't go flying anywhere because the wind's blowing at the back side of it.
Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise, what a breeze. <laughs> Brown up this bagel. Both sides, let's soak up the rest of this grease in here. A little bit, let her simmer. Bagel. It's not rocket science. What we're gonna do, we're gonna throw our egg on here. Take a Rooney. Bacon. Tic tac toe the bacon. And then a piece of cheese. <clears throat> To hold it all together. That's what I'm talking about. Hot diggity dog. Mmm, nummy. Woohoo. Let's dive into this bad boy. Try to get it in my mouth. Oh, it's exploded with yummy goodness. I like to leave a little bit of yolk when you dip her on in there. Woo! I was afraid the egg and the bacon were going to get so cold, so I kind of stuck it next to the fire. See along the edge there? The heavy winds, the strings uh, loosened up through the night. So now winds just whipping through there and coming out the other side. We definitely got to figure something out. I mean, could have put more snow on there or some logs around it, but <clears throat> I guess it should have been prepared instead of a last minute scramble to survive. It's not really survival but better than being a popsicle. Well, take this thing to Pound Town, pack up the rest of our crap, and get ready to beat feet. Let the stove dive down a bit. Guess I can take this thing off there so it ain't piping hot, eh? B, C, D. All right. Huh? See in a little bit. We'll all dive out of this thing together. All at once. Single file line now. Alright, here we go. Well, uh, turn it sideways. Uh, come on. Oof. Uh, oh. uh, the cold ain't really that bad now because I could stand. Oh, my back. Everywhere we stepped last night, we melted down completely, just rock solid frozen. Whew. All right, enough tinkering around. Let's do this. Step closer to work. <laughs> Looks like a rat's nest over there. <laughs> Be lighter. Guess not. 
Well, let's walk and talk, shall we? We're ready to rumble. That site cleaned up a little bit. Oh, I can't talk in that wind, it's taking my breath away. Um, no, we didn't get our tent stakes back. They're frozen. I got one back. So we'll just have to wait or come take a torch to it or something, but let's walk. Well, yeehaw, guys. Just thought to thank you guys for coming along with my goofy shenanigans. Another night of nonsense. Same old spot. Whatever. But hopefully, it'll be one of the last times we come down here. And maybe we'll have a new home to go. So hopefully the future's bright. Different adventures coming up. Different styles of something. Got a few things in mind. Thanks to all you who stuck around through the thick and thin of nonsense. All the crap videos and all the somewhat good crappy ones. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Anyway, that being said, make every day great for one earth, guys. Stay warm out there. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah!